what we're going to want to make sure that we deal with is finding or evaluating that inverse sine that's going to be within our range, right? We talked about the ranges when using our in, uh, trigonometric, inverse trigonometric functions. So the main important thing, though, we look at this is a composition, right? And when you guys remember when we did composition of functions, what we can look at is we can say, all right, what is the sine of 3 pi? Where is that value going to you know, give us? So let's first kind of take a look at the angle 3 pi. All right, and we're looking at the angle of 3 pi. Well, we know that's from here to here is pi, here to here is 2 pi, and here to here is 3 pi, correct? That's your angle 3 pi. Um, and we, if we look to evaluate it at 3 pi, what we're going to have is this angle is negative 1 comma 0, right? So the sine value, what we have, is going to be 0. Right, because sine is going to represent your y coordinate. You're right. Um, so we have um, so we have sine of three pi now is going to equal all right that now equals zero right as we represented. Now what was the last part of that problem? Okay, so. But the problem is, what we look at this is, this is not within our range, is it? Or we can't take the function of this. However, what we can look at this, we know we evaluate that arc sine is going to equal 0. But what we want to see is, is there another angle, though, that we can figure out where the sine is still going to be 0? And yes, it actually works that this is not in our range. So we can't take the inverse of this. However, if we just took the range of an angle 0, that's still going to, that would still provide us with one, right? So when we take the arc sine, it's not going to be 3 pi, right? Because remember, remember we were taking the inverse, right? If I was going to take the inverse of sine or the inverse of 0, you're not going to say it's going to be 3 pi because 3 pi is not within your range. So therefore, the arc sine of 0, arc sine of 0 is going to equal 0. Because if we had the angle 0, that's within your range of negative pi halves to pi halves. Does that kind of make a little sense? Kind of, maybe? OK. Any questions on that?